Nityanandam, thank you so much for joining me today. And with Swamiji's grace and blessings, I make this video to shed one more angle on the path of sannyas as a Nityananda, a sannyasi in the Nityananda Sampradaya. Now, many of you who are thinking about sannyas may be actually thinking, so what happens, what is it like to be a sannyasi? Since you've given up your previous life, relations, friendships, our family life, who, who is there to support you? Now it is true, in the spiritual journey, ultimately it is you and your Guru, you and Swamiji. But Swamiji is not just in the physical form. He is in his Sangha and he is in the teachings. So that means whether you're in his presence or whether you're away from his physical presence, he is still there. His presence is everywhere. So that means you get trained, you get supported through the Sangha, through the teachings, through the Satsang, and through all your experiences in life. So when you have that context, that Swamiji is reminding me whether if it's like I trip on the curb, I hit my head on the door, um, someone in the Sangha says something to me which I didn't expect or somehow once what's said in satsang answers my question directly or in a YouTube video or anything, anything, anything. I can give you so many examples where it is so clear that it's not a coincidence but it is Swamiji expressing through some some other dimension of life other than his physical presence. So when you have that context and you're living in a, a Sangha, in a community who has the same context, that when you are trying to understand your patterns, when you are trying to understand who you are and where you get stuck and what your incompletions are and how to come out of it, having a Sangha around you who is also practicing these teachings and also understands that supporting your potential, supporting who you want to be is a priority over supporting or sympathizing or giving pity to your patterns. You will not find that in the Nityananda Sangha. And if you do, you're expected to run away from that because the real support are people who help and remind you that you're falling out of integrity, that you are responsible for what you're feeling inside and what, you're, what is happening around you. And even though sometimes those reminders may prick at you, may hurt you, when you have the context of why people are saying what they're saying, when you know you've told the same thing to other people, then you get it. You get, you have basically the soft landing for anything that's happening and you have the way out. If you're responsible for what's happening around you, then that means you can be equally responsible for making it right. If you're experiencing incompletion, then there's a way, there's Swamiji's technique to come out of the incompletion through the completion process. I can give so many real life examples but I wanted to share this aspect because many people may think that being a sannyasi means you're at it alone. You're alone in the context of you, only you know what's happening inside of you other than Swamiji. And he obviously knows you more than you know you. And in that way, that part, yes, you, you are looking in, you know what's happening inside and you see the results of what's happening inside. But sometimes we have blind spots where we don't even see what's happening inside. And this can go on for months, days, and years where we totally don't even know the wrong cognitions we are carrying. But when you have the patient and will persistent support of the Sangha around you, 
and you have will persistence then eventually you will the blind spot will reveal itself to you you will catch it you will expose it and you'll be like a, oh my god i can't believe i've been thinking like that or i've been carrying this cognition because blind spots are not the they don't represent the part of you you want to be they represent the part of you you're avoiding or some dimension of life that you're avoiding so the point i'm trying to make is the nityananda sangha the support system the brother and sister disciples of the Nityananda Sampradaya. They provide true support. They don't give up on you. And they help you see your blind spots. And they have ultimate patience, just like Swamiji. Because we're all seeing Swamiji dealing with all of his disciples. So, by example, we see just the Um, unbounded compassion and patience and obviously that will radiate through the Sangha as people experience and experience that personally so for anyone who's thinking about sannyas maybe they have a doubt of what is it like to be in a community of other sannyasis or other devotees and disciples of Swamiji I'll say it's a real community that really supports the real you with the right context. So it's such a blessing and gift to be able to have a have chosen a life which is aligned to your life purpose and plus you have a community to support you. And the right way support should be given. No pity, uh, no sympathizing. So if you have any questions about this, please message me and um, 